Welcome to Dashta. I'm Ramajin. Today we're gonna ask some random questions to a time traveling super dimensional magical girl. Let's go. My question to you would be, is isolation good on using VR as we were created for physical contact? And since VR help hygienization well, and social distancing, how ethical this would be for humanity? And do you think we would evolve on our social interactions? That's a lot of questions, it's not just one. So yeah, like when you, like how does the human mind work? I guess if you consider primitive minds to be like just spinal cords, and then as they advance, they put a new mind on top of it. That's kind of how the human brain works, right? So like up front are your really thinky clever bits, and then the farther back you go, the more feely bits you get, until you get like the basic, most basic reptile functions. You see, you're just a worm. You see lights, you can do this, and that's like it maybe down on the bit that makes your heart beat. And so those all need to be developed according to current theory. Uh, oh, it's either a dragon on an airplane. Shh. Ah, ha. Okay, it was an airplane, not a dragon. So, um, like if you're a developing new brain, I guess you need physical contact. But probably mm, a lot of people can do with just social contact if their brain is built in a suitable fashion. Maybe. I mean, I'm not like an expert or something. But my experience is that VR is very much like associating with other people. It's just um, you can't really touch them. But it's the same sense as talking next to somebody at a party or in your house or something. If the illusion is good enough. Look, next question, please. Dost. Will Unity ever be able to run without freezing or crashing? No, it's it's made like doo doo. I don't even know why you're asking me though. I'm not a Unity expert. I can only barely get your little Earth computer to work. Probably even then, I have to use a lot of magic to do it. So you know. Okay, follow why, up. Why? Question. Why? Why? Why ask me? Yes, please. Follow up question. Are you a boomer alien? No, that's the other Pino. The other Pinot Gris, who looks like a flying squirrel, she's like a total boomer. Except, oh I don't think she's blown up any galaxies, but I can't say no, for no, certain. No, 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 Probably no, something kind of a little bit smaller. <laughs> Bananas are these amazing exotic earth fruits for me. Nowhere else can I find a long, yellow, slightly curved fruit. It's just totally out there. So, when you, I mean, they're, they're just delicious. So when you eat your banana, instead of pulling the top and mashing up your banana, turn it over and open it from what looks like the bottom. That's the way it wants to open naturally. I like the shape of the banana and I don't know why. It's just exciting and pleasing and it's a fun happy shape. But that's only when they're nice and firm and yellow, when uh, they sit a little bit and then suddenly they turn black and gushy. Uh... Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video! If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel! See you in next video!